Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, another Warhammer one. Uh, going through kind of my painting backlog and kind of posting some of these videos. So these are older models in terms of when I've gotten them. I'm probably, I'd say, anywhere from three to six months backlog from what I've painted versus what I've filmed. But we'll try to catch up, I guess. So uh, this video starts the uh, Leviathan box, box set that came out in, you know, what, summer of 2023, if that tells you anything about the timestamp. Um, so I've got that box mostly painted, and so I'll start trickling the videos for that. So first up out of that box is the unit of Infernus Marines. So uh, I paint them up as a squad of 10, though you could certainly paint them up as two squads of five if you want it, um, the way that they're arranged. And so I better take you through what I did. Uh, first, what I did was I paid attention, and during the uh, my local Warhammer store, they had a model of the month for an Infernus Marine. So I made him my sergeant with a little bit of kit bashing to change out the helmet. And he got the fancy base. So this is the free model that we got from the Warhammer store uh, one weekend. And for all the newbies, this is also now the free model that you get if you want to... Uh, you know, go to the store for the first time and say, I'm new, what do I do? This is one of the models that they'll give you for free to paint and see if you like it. So the reason I did that is because I, if I do this, I have a free model, then that means I get one of these dudes, right? I have another, you know, body, right, that I can use for other things. If I want to make a lieutenant out of him or something like that, I've got an extra body. Uh, so those are the things you can do to try to get the most out of any of the free stuff that... Uh, Games Workshop will give you, right, to, to maximize. Like right now, with all my kit bashing and stuff, I've got four of these, you know, Primaris bodies. So I just need to get one more, and then I will be able to use some extra bits, like out of my Hellblaster uh, unit, as an example, and I would have uh, almost another full five-man squad of Hellblasters. So th there's things you can do like that to, you know, to create models from extra parts, and those are models you don't have to buy. So anyway, tangent aside... Here's the Inferno Squad. Uh, I pretty much followed my same recipe um, of, you know, McCrag Blue with the Drakenhoff Nightshade uh, shading, right, for the for the recesses. Use this guy, I guess, as an example. Um, so if you've seen the previous videos, you'll know. Uh, I went with the Mornfane Brown on the uh, on the leather. I wanted them a little lighter uh, details on the leather. Um, and then um, a couple of different colors, right? The... Uh, the fuel canister on that uh, on the flamer that is Balthazar gold, which gives it just a little extra contrast from the Retributor armor gold on the uh, on the shoulder pads and the Aquila. So I, I like that contrast. Um, also shade that with uh, Reichland flush shade, just like I do the gold. Um, and then I tried to do a burnt um, muzzle on these. This is my first real first attempt at that, and it turned out okay. I used the recipe, the popular recipe that uh, Duncan Rhodes used back when he was working for uh, Games Workshop, right? So um, I painted it uh, lead belcher to start uh, as a base coat here. And then what I did, try to get this thing to focus, on the tip about a third of the way, I did Drakenhoff Nightshade, which is the blue wash, right? So I did that fairly thick and then kind of let it dry. If I can try to get the, the camera there, it's hard to... Get to focus. This side's better. This side looks better. Yet yeah, you can see the contrast. So direct enough nightshade on the tip, right? Blue, and then let that dry, and then go back with Drinky Violet, which is the purple, purple shade, and do you know a little bit of overlapping, and then another little third up. You now from that, right? Let that dry, and then go back with Seraphim Sepia, which is the sepia wash, right? And overlap that on the purple and continue that up the barrel a little bit to try to make it fade and blend where it looks like natural, um, you know, heat, like uh, stresses and, you know, um, metal tempering and all that kind of stuff. So it's my first attempt. It was okay. I'm happy with it. Again, I am not a crazy good painter, so I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. It is functional. It looks decent enough. It certainly looks good on the tabletop and that's all that matters. Um, so I put these guys in what squad 16, so running out of squads in the second company. So um, I'll probably be adding more squads to other companies just because it's fun and I like to do that kind of stuff. So, um, but there they are. Uh, kind of, like I said, follow my standard recipe. There's not much else. Um, 
my general philosophy on some of this, I try to pepper in different decals. Like that guy's got the little, you know, red marksman thing. Like trying to trying to balance adding in a bunch of decorations with all the decals you have, right? Without uh, without just completely, uh, you know, <laughs> making them look like a NASCAR, right? With all the different decals everywhere. Uh, on these guys, I tried to do um, a lot of the Leviathan guys that came in the box. You see, I did uh, these little Tyranid campaign decals. I figured it was fitting. And these these are the decals I got out of the free uh, Tyranid decal sheet that came uh, was available in the stores for a while uh, early on with the Leviathan launch. So if you're wondering, that's where those came from. And I like them just fine for the campaign badges. So aside from that, that's really about it for the Inverse Marines. These guys are fun to play too. You know, if you can get them in a good round of shooting, they really will barbecue some stuff, which is always fun. So that's all I got. Pretty simple squad, all monopose, you know, no weapon options or anything. So it's just, and they're all push fit. So I really didn't glue them. Uh, mainly because on the off chance, if they, I've seen Games Workshop do this, where they'll, like, yep, these are only the weapon options. And then, you know, like 11th edition comes out, I was like, hey, we added Sergeant options to the Infernus Marines, and now he can have a Thunder Hammer and stuff or whatever. So, um, you don't want to glue them since they didn't have to, because you never know uh, how the game will change. So, uh, that's all I got. Thank you all for watching, as always. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please like, share, subscribe. It helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you all again. We'll see you in the next video.